Hello Beauty News family, welcome to another Mecca release video. Aren't we excited? We are, we are excited for this one mm -hmm. because there's some cool products and we're going to start straight off the bat with, with the, the one that we've been waiting for for the longest. This is the two-faced, pe uh, two-peach-faced <laughs> two <laughs> stuff. <laughs> the two-faced peaches and cream collection That's finally released after over a year of it being released in the US. Yeah. Uh, but we finally have it. It's a permanent collection and we're super chuffed about it because uh, months ago, an amazing subscriber sent us a couple of products each and yeah. I love everything so from that I. range that I've tried. Yeah. Foundation, one of my all-time favorite foundations. Powder, one of my all-time favorite powders. Fantastic powder. um, the Just Peachy Matte Palette. This palette for me, like I haven't, I've used it and it's beautiful and it works really well, but um, I haven't just used it too much recently because yeah. I'm doing one month, one palette videos, but it is a beautiful palette. So it is, yeah. Yeah, that, that whole collection's released. Finally, uh, they've drummed up a lot of like advertising. I've noticed on videos on YouTube, they're advertising like yeah. they've, which is good because they should have brought this out ages ago. I know. I don't know what the delay was, but I'm no. glad it's here. Yeah. So we've got the foundation. Now there's only 20 shades available in Australia. Uh, and this is retailing for $52. I do want to point out, though, that this is not a regular one ounce, 30 mil tube. No. It's uh, 48 mils. It's a fucking good deal. So it's a deal. big one. So yeah. this is probably, if you break it down per mil, it's cheaper than something like Revlon. Yeah. So I would recommend checking this out if you can find your shade. Yeah. Some people do say it oxidizes. It um, oxidizes on me. On me, my shade doesn't. Uh, my shade is nude. It doesn't oxidize, but uh, it depends on the weather. It depends on your skin. It depends on your shade. So some shades might some shades might not uh best tip is to go a shade lighter than you might think um and then just bronze it up if it's a little bit too light but yeah that's that then we have the setting powder mm -hmm. now this is 46 australian dollars yep. and it's a big one it's a fucking massive 35 one. grams 35 grams other setting powders might be 10 11 yep. up to 15 grams so once again you're getting probably about three times as much as a normal setting powder so and it's a really beautiful finely milled one like yeah i was worried about like you know laura mercier ones going out of the market don't i don't, don't need to worry. even now this is better than the laura it's mercier better. one <laughs> and it's I'm, cheaper yeah i'm wearing laura mercier today and i'm like why did i spend money on this sometimes look that sometimes it, it does sometimes happen happens. it does okay the Too faced just peachy um matte eyeshadow palette the one we showed is $66. There's also the white peach eyeshadow palette. This one is a lighter version. It's got some cooler tones and some shimmers and some mattes. So that's out as well. Mm -hmm. That's also $66. And there are six shades of the Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush. These are $44 yeah. each. Uh, there's also the Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. I've mm -hmm. heard that this is beautiful. Yeah. I'm interested to try it. There's a Too Faced Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. We destroyed one of these. We did, yes. There's also a Bronzed Peach Melting Powder Bronzer and a Peach Frost Melting Powder Highlighter. Both $44, both one shade of each. Yep, yeah, so they're similar to the blushes, but that's got six shades. And these are all sort of like cream products. Yes. Um, and then there's two sort of base products. There's a, a primed and peachy cool matte perfecting primer, which I've heard goes really well with the foundation. I want to try that. I want to try it too. And the peach mist mattifying setting spray. So those are both $46. Yeah, I really want to uh, try that I'm as interested. well. And I'm interested because um, my one criticism for this foundation is that it sets really well, which is good, yeah. but it sets so well that you it's hard you to retouch. Because it yeah. if you go to touch it up, it sort of pulls away at the rest of it. So it's one of those things that I like to say, just set and forget, like yeah. don't touch it. Um, the more you touch it, the more angry it's going to get. So um, it's a great foundation. But if it's got a primer and a setting spray that work with it, mm. I'm interested to see yeah, how it goes. I'm interested as well. Mm. All right, let's move on to Urban Decay. There are a few releases. What do we have? So we've got the Lo-Fi Lip Mousse. Now, we actually sent some of these. We were. There's eight shades of these, and they're retailing for $37 each. And essentially, it's it's a like lip mousse, mousse in, in a... a little compact yeah. yeah 
So that's what it looks like there. Look, the, I, don't, I don't see how this is a thing that needs to be around. Um, and they look, they do look like they squidgy mousse. mousse. They do. Um, they do. And it's got a little applicator, a little sponge tip applicator that sits in there. Yeah. The shade. I do like the packaging with that. Cause yeah. It kind of pops out as you open it. So. Yeah. So it makes know, it. Yeah. Cause, and then it goes. Yeah. In. It's an innovative. I don't know if you can see it, but hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Can you go in out? Yeah. In out. Uh, it's an innovative little packaging. Yeah. That's that's good, but. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the product, um, products in pants. But let us know if you want to see one destroyed because we've got three. We do. We've got a cool toad nude for Haley, a yeah. red for Cat, and a pink for destroying. But that's asking to be destroyed. But these are matte finish, weightless, yeah. waterproof. This is in noise. This is in amplify. What is that and one? And this one is in fade. There you go. Yeah. Thanks, Mecca. There's also a 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil Threesome. Mm -hmm. So in here you get Perversion, Demolition, and Rockstar. So it's a black, a dark brown, and a plum shade. Awesome. I yeah. actually need new liners, so I'm happy there about that. Uh, but that pack is limited edition. It's $74. Mm -hmm. uh, the Naked Foursome is back, which yep. is the Vault. Uh, now it contains Heat. Yeah, I instead think it, of uh, smoky. Smoky, yes. So that's two hundred and sixty-six dollars. I'm actually a bit bummed that. Well, I think they have to sell these in this way because no one's buying the naked palettes anymore unless they're the yeah. new ones. Yeah. Um, but I feel like back in the day, I when I got my Urban Decay um, naked palettes, I had to order them internationally because there was no Urban Decay in Australia. Yeah. And I think they cost me like, they cost a bomb. Yeah, I know. It might have been like 90 bucks each or something yeah. stupid. So it's a good way to get them if you were interested in, in them. Yeah. But I think uh, these days they're a little bit obsolete. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Because they are good palettes. They're but, kind look, of OG. So if you don't have them, they are worth checking out. Yeah. Yeah. And the formula is still pretty good. I find yeah. Urban Decay, their palettes these days are hit and miss. Mm -hmm. But um, naked the, palettes, they always... The old ones. Yeah, yeah. they seem to... Have, yeah. They, they focus more on formula. Yeah. Um, also, there's an all-day, all-night rebound travel duo. Yes. So this is the... A little mini all-nighter uh, spray yep. and a rebound spray, which I think is like a refreshing spray. I think so, yeah. Also, we do know that the uh, Born to Run eyeshadow palette came out last month, but we will be destroying one very soon. So yes. So keep an eye out for that one. Yes. Okay, we've got a few things from Hourglass. We've got the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. Now, I'm very happy to see that this is released so soon because um, we did talk about this only a couple of weeks ago. So, mm -hmm. Mecca are really coming through with releasing things pretty close to the US release date yeah. besides the Too Faced Peaches and Cream collection. But everything else, they're like smashing it out. Yes. Uh, same as the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. So, these are five shades we saw these in store um, the other week, but uh, so they've been out for a little while. But these came out maybe a week or two after the US. So Mecca, not Mecca, yeah, Mecca are doing. I was going to yeah, say Hourglass. Mecca, and, Mecca Hourglass. and Hourglass are doing great things. Yeah, I agree. They're obviously working together to get their shit together. Yes, yeah. people want this stuff when it's relevant. Absolutely. And if you snooze, you lose because people get over stuff. They do indeed. So you've got to be quick quick out of the gate with your makeup releases in Australia. You do. Sol de Janeiro. They finally made it to Australian shores yep. in store. That's true. So if you're not familiar with the brand, you might be familiar with the bum Brazilian bum cream. Bum bum cream. Yes. Um, so that's something that a lot of people have talked about as like a holy grail sort of um, body lotion, body yeah. butter. Um, so that brand has come now to Mecca. It smells interesting. We don't have it. Simon's got some of the products and we're mm -hmm. smelling and it's it it's very familiar i can't it think is, of what it yeah. is um but these products aren't cheap i'm going to tell you that no. so you can the 240 mil um brazilian bum bum cream which is like the kind of hero product that everyone yeah. talks about 66 bucks for yeah. a body butter it's not cheap yeah a small one's going to set you back 29 dollars. so yeah. that might be the way to try it out yeah um, then we have the body power cream again available in two sizes with the same pricing. Yeah, so these are the acai body 
power creams. Yeah. Um, we've got a bath bomb, the Bum Bum Bath Bomber, $14. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a Brazilian kiss. I'm going to ruin that name. Uh, Capuaku? Let's say it's Capuaku. Uh, whatever. Lip yeah. butter. The lip butter. Brazilian <laughs> kiss lip butter. 26, 26 bucks. bucks. That is a bit, it's a it's, bit rich. It's... Look, I'm going to say this about lip balms. My lips... They are really funny when they're super dry. And if a lip balm actually works for me, I'll pay whatever it takes. That's true. <laughs> but when there's things like Carmex that yes. does work really yep. well for me, I kind of go, Burt's Bees, Yeah, great. that's the one I always go for when I'm when I'm struggling. Yeah, Burt's yep. Bees is fab. And especially when you can get it at like 50% off at Priceline, yep. you kind of go, oh, 26 bucks for a... A lip balm. Lip balm is a, yeah. is a bit rich. There'll um, be people who are interested in it, I'm that's sure. That's true. Definitely. Yeah. Um, there's also the Crush Body Fragrance Mist. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is just like a mist of a similar sort of scent to the yeah, I bum think bum so. cream. Brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower gel <laughs> cream gel. Uh, 36 bucks. And the Brazilian touch hand cream, 22 bucks. So a, awesome. bit, a bit of stuff Look, there. It is a brand that I'm I wanna I wanna try a few things from. Yeah. Um there's so much hype around it. So there is a lot of hype around yeah. it, that's for sure. All right. Nas. It looks like the danger control eyeshadow palette is back. Did it go? I don't know, but no. it's on uh, the list as being new, which is interesting. That's not a good product. Yeah, I, I like. I don't like it. I like it as a topper when it's used wet, but just on its own, it's a bit. It's very Nas eyeshadow y. It's very lackluster. <laughs> Which think, is Nas eyeshadow. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, yeah. The, the confu I actually put it in um, a fails I yeah. think last month, and I think it was just because I tried to use it a few times, and it, it's sort of. I'm, I'm kind of sick of products that. Are supposed to be duo chrome, but then they don't have a good so shift. They're dull. Luster and dull, and they yeah. just look like powder. No, I agree. I agree. I feel like even when it's used wet or over a super sticky base, it doesn't have that. Um, like it, it's not interesting. It's no. just not. No. Some of the colors are pretty, and if you like the colors for what they look like, then it's fine. But if you expect anything more from that, there's a good chance you're going to be disappointed. And there which are is how better, I yeah, felt and there are the better palette. products out there yeah. that deliver something better. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what is new is the full vinyl lip, lip lacquers. Yeah, these are actually really rad. We've got yeah. a couple of these, a couple. Um, and they are very pigmented and very, very. Um, Glossy. Glossy. Yeah. Um, and they say it's limited edition, which concerns me mm. because if you do actually like a really nice gloss, we should actually check these out in store. Yeah. Um, because if there's any shades, like there's not many nudes, which annoy me. Yeah, I'm um, I'm into the nudes. They're easier to wear. I do like that. Which one's the... Baden. Oh, Baden. 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 It's a deep au aubergine, though. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is, there, not... there's not many that are actually light. Yeah. Um. But if I did actually bring this out with a more extensive range of nudes, I would like I, I'd these check are it out. these are beautiful because they they don't look streaky on the lips and they have that sort of beautiful sort of mirror finish. Yes. So they're very very pretty. I just don't I'm not digging the colours and yeah. I don't like that there's like a black with shimmer and there's I don't know I just wish there was more a better range of nudes in there. Yeah, that personally. that's fair. They've also got the Velvet Lip Glides. These are coming in five new shades. Okay. We've so got one We've here. got one here. Yeah. And they're $38 each. And so is the lip lacquer, the full vinyl lip lacquer. Yes. But I would recommend... I would recommend the full, the full vinyl lip lacquers over those because I think... If you could find a shade you like, it's a yep. little bit more... It's like a really they're beautiful more, sheen. They're more glossy. These ones aren't um, as pigmented. They yeah. do have a bit of gloss to them, but yeah. Mm. Uh, there's also five new shades of the Power Matte Lip Pigments, which are fucking rad. They're good Love products. them. Yeah. I've only got one of those, but I, I want more. You've got yeah. two, don't you? I do have two. I love them. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's do some bare minerals. Yeah. We have the Crystalline or Crystalline Glow Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. Yeah. So that's the one that looks like it's like a little diamondy diamond. shape. Yeah, yeah. I do want to say though that this okay doesn't really interest me, but they had like a baked 
three pan uh, palette for Christmas. Yeah, and it was really and it was pretty. really beautiful. Yeah. I just watched it and I was like, oh, I want it, but the price and I don't need it. Yeah, um, this is forty nine dollars, and I reckon this is go- if you want a soft sort of face palette, I reckon this is going to be really nice. Yeah, um, we also got the Make Mine Matte Lip Kit, which mm-hmm. is a limited edition mini kit of those gen nude yes uh liquid lipsticks yeah then we have uh the mineral cleansing water Mm -hmm. 26 bucks and a complexion rescue defense spf 15 product all right from bobby brown we've got a few things we've got the primer plus mattifier Mm -hmm. 55 dollars the primer plus hydrating three-in-one setting spray Mm -hmm. 50 bucks We've also got three new highlighting powders. So these are those brick sort yeah. of designs. Um, and there's Moon Glow, Pink Glow, which I think is a re-promote. That's, that's existing. Maybe they haven't had them in Mecca before. I think that or it maybe was it limited re- edition for Christmas. Oh, okay. I think. I th- these usually come out around Christmas. Yeah. There's also Bronze Glow. But they're yeah. 80 bucks each. I've got one of them. Not worth it. Not, not worth 80 bucks. So it's- it is what it is um and then we have the nude on nude eye palette which is available in two shades yes so this is an interesting thing Mm. um once again way too overpriced in australia 95 buckies yeah it's Um, a bit rich for me i look for winter i like the color scheme of um bronze nudes Mm. Uh, rosy nudes is is it's very basic. This is not for your makeup junkie. This is for your I buy one eyeshadow palette every two years. Yeah, and I just like a natural wash of color. Um, yeah, it's it's too pricey. I like the layout, but I just don't like. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not digging it. Yeah, not for ninety five bucks. Not made for us. Not for us. No, not for me. All right, from Mac, there's only a couple of things that are new. We've got the O oh Sweetie Tinted Lip Glass Collection. These are thirty five dollars each, um, and there's fifteen shades. We were sent two shades: a green and a pink. We want to do how many swatches in one of them? Maybe the green one. It's going to have to be the green. Because I ain't using that shit. What else? No offense, Like, Mac. I don't, I don't understand. Packaging. I cute don't, packaging. Yeah, it is cute packaging, but I don't understand no. the color. And I'll be enough. interested to see, like, you know, how pigmented it is, whether it's just like a, you know, wash of color. Um, but the pink this one. must be pretty pigmented. Look. It's not my color, but it's a pretty, it's, my it's got a bit of sheen. It's yeah. kind of pretty. I'll try it. Packaging's very yeah. cute. Yeah. Yeah. But they also have little MAC tinted lip glasses. They're tiny. Yeah. These are $21 each. <laughs> and there's eight shades. Stop it. Oh, fuck off. Stop it. It's 2.4 grams. Okay, handy for a handbag, but not for 21 bucks. Guys, that's like nearly 10 bucks a gram. Don't Colourpop send these things out for free when they're yeah, running they late? Yeah, they do. <laughs> and they send them in handfuls. They're yeah. like, take here, em. take, take em. this junk. And they're actually not junk. They're, they're fantastic. Yeah. I love their mini lip glosses. I've never actually used a, a lip gloss. So, oh no, we do have lip glosses from the yeah. um, Jeff, uh, Patrick Star collection. Yeah, yeah. Um, Anyway, it's a good good color, but fuck man, twenty one bucks. God, I'd, that's a. May as well just buy the full one. Come on, Mac, what are you doing? Shame, shame. We still haven't swatched the, these. The full one, thirty five bucks, twenty one bucks. I don't get it personally. I, I, I don't, don't know, get it. Guys. I don't get I it. I don't know. Luckily, I'm not the one that's responsible for these prices. Yeah, look, wouldn't be happening I'm if they were. No, it'd be five bucks. Ray Morris. So her Invisible Mattifier Powder came mm-hmm. out, and this actually came out a few days before mm-hmm. um, Mecca release day. It's 80 Australian dollars. We did buy one to destroy, so keep an eye out for that. And I picked one up to try myself. And have you used it? I have. It's exactly what I thought it was. Silicon cake? Solid silicon. Yeah, it looks like six forms of silicon, according to the ingredients. I didn't double-check them. I didn't Google them, but... Um, based on what I know about silicons, pretty there sure. There might be more. Yeah, there <laughs> might be more, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's... So if you don't like silicons, if you have, you. Yeah, if you have ever used, like, you know that Benefit blotting 
<laughs> yeah, the blotting stick. It was the triangle Yeah, that's one. horrible. So it's like that, except it's in a pan rather than a stick. So silicon is known to uh, visually mattify the skin yeah. and also uh, like Reduce smooth the appearance pores, of pores and stuff like that. Yeah, um, but it is... A chunk of silicon. It's, it is a pan of silicon. So if you know that your skin works really well with silicon products, you might very much like this. If you know that silicons aren't your thing, now you know what it is. Yeah. You can make that purchasing choice yourself. That's where I also think that this is probably just designed for photo shoots. It is. Because yep. um, if you, you shouldn't go around layering silicon over your makeup every day like it actually can clog your pores um it is it's it literally and this is the thing that i didn't get about that benefit stick it's like okay i've got skincare sunscreen makeup my oils are coming through and yeah. now you're putting more like another creamy product on top to hide the look of it by yeah. adding more crap um, it just doesn't work. You need to actually blot away the, yep, the oil and powder it down. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. That'd go. be an interesting uh, makeup breakup. I'm looking yep. forward to doing that yep. after this video. Yes. Yes. All right. From Mecca Max, we have a face gloss, $16. And we actually have this. Let me. Should we go get it? Go get it. All right. While we're here, we will let you know that Mecca Max has gone vegan. Yep. So that's great. Well, that's good because they've always been cruelty free, but yes. then they had requests to follow through and be vegan. So they've, now all their products are vegan. Yes. And I think they've given us vegan chocolate to celebrate. Is yes, that what this is? probably. It's um, definitely chocolate. I saw Jacob tasting this on Instagram. I don't think it went down well. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I wouldn't touch it with a 40 foot pole because. That literally says migraine, migraine, migraine oh, for me. Yeah. So for me, it says hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate. There um, we go. Mecca Max now vegan. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I want to take a photo of that because that looks really cool before I eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I reckon it's cool that they're now vegan. Like you, if you can, why not? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As long as none of the... Products are the shit. Pigments Bora. stain my skin. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, so that's the face gloss there. It's a multi purpose product. You can use it on eyes, face, and lips. I think that's a cool idea. Yeah. Because it is hard to get like a decent clear gloss. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of want to shove it all over my face now. Um, I like the little bubbles in it too. Yeah. But yeah, cool. if you've been looking for something that you can just get like a wet effect, I don't even like all glosses, I'm sure you can put all over your okay. face. Yeah. Um, but. This is somehow designed for it. High gloss finish for face, lips, eye, define and highlight. It's kind of cool that you can highlight if you want to. Yeah. I don't want to, but no. you can. Uh, we've also got the Life Proof Setting Spray, which is available in two sizes. An eye max volumizing mascara. The Bubble Balm, available in two shades. Oh. What is the Bubble Balm? So it is a lip balm? Hydrating mm. lip balm that will nourish and soothe dry lips on the go. So it's available in cinnamon and orange. So these are sort of like EOS balms. Yeah, in the shape, in of, the shape of a, yeah. a bubble. Then we have the A-Lister liquid lipsticks. These are available in four shades. We have three of them. Okay, while we're here as well, I'm just going to show you the, the packaging of these. It's pretty cool. I don't like the fact that you don't see the color. You have to mm. look at the lid. Um, but I kind of like the all gold packaging. I don't, I don't hate it. It's very hourglass esque. It is, but this is wham bam. Whoa, it's nice. Has no scent. Mm. That's so confusing because usually they smell like chemicals or they smell yeah. like sweet stuff. That mm. smells like nothing. Uh, get naked. Why don't we all just no? Let's not get naked. That is like a nice. It's like a your color. It is it's like cool exactly so what you're wearing. Yeah, right now. it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, and this is exactly what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> uh, and then we have berry bomb, which is more of a sort of dark berry color, berry which is pretty as well. So yeah, I'm so perplexed by the fact that they smell like zero. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm it's not smelling anything. It's bizarre, but cool packaging. Yeah. 
There's also a blockbuster beauty hall, which is 50 buckies, mm. um, and you get a bunch of stuff in it. So you get a Wink Ink Liquid Liner, full size, I believe, Wink Weapon Eye Palette in Embellished, so it's sort of like nudes, uh, Press Refresh Anti Shine Balm, oh, it sounds a bit like Ray Morris's, mm. uh, City Slicker Lip Oil in Nude, and Auto Matte Lip Mattifier. Yeah. Um, and once again, 100% vegan and cruelty free now. So that's if you wanted those products, 50 bucks for that pack. 50. So, Soap and Glory. I'm, I'm excited to see these guys making a bigger presence. On the Australian market I because I really like their products. I think they're they're very good. They're like yeah. lip crayons and stuff are great. Yeah. Oh, I've got their blotting powder in my back my yeah. hand bag. They're very good products. They are good products. Yeah. And they're really affordable, mm-hmm. which is great. Uh the Righteous Butter Instant Sunkiss Tint Body Lotion. That one's fifteen dollars. Yeah. And we also have the Glow Getter. This one is $16, and it looks to be like a... Is that a spray? Yes, it is. It's wow. a Sunkiss bronzing spray for legs and body. So um, I, I think... I kind of need it because I'm pasty yeah, under I, all the clothes. Yeah, same. Yeah. It's a bronzer product, so it doesn't fake tan. It just deposits a bit of color. I really like these products because often fake tans... Like, you fuck them they up. They wear off patchy. Yeah, and I hate it not when... Good. Like, Sometimes you'll get like extra exfoliation at the back of your knee or it'll grab at the front of the knee and I'm just like, oh, that is, that's, yeah, no, I don't like it. But I'm, I'm into these sort of products these days because if I'm going out and I just want your, you want your legs to have a bit of color yeah. um, and also a bit of, let's just say body foundation, yeah. it just sort of smooths over all sort of like yeah. stuff. These yeah. products are actually really good. They're good, and that's affordable. $16. 16 buckies. Yeah. Listen to my shoes squeak. New shoes. Who New dis? boots. Who, who dis? dis? Who dis? You noisy who dis. <laughs> Far out. Go home, you singing <laughs> shoes. <laughs> right. All right. The next one we have is the Triple Glammy Bag Set. So yeah. this is just a trio of makeup bags in different sizes. Yeah. This one is $31. So you've got a big clear one that would be good for traveling. You've got a bigger one that would just be good for makeup. Yeah. And a smaller one that would be cool for like brushes. Yeah. I think that would yeah. be great for bl- blushes. Brushes. Blushes too. Yes. Uh, there's also the Mighty Makeup Bag. Mm-hmm. So this is $25. And once again, this is... Just a makeup bag, but yep. it's a big one. So yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it allows like room for larger palettes and uh, brushes and whatnot. Yeah. There's also the weekend away bag, which we're getting even bigger. Yeah. Uh, so stepping up a notch. Yeah. This is a double pouch one. And we have the Sopa store all bag. And this is. Well, it looks to be a suitcase for your beauty product. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like something like that. It does. Look, my issue with these, like, I think it's good to have these sort of products yeah. out and about, but I, I don't like the look of them. Yeah, I don't mind the, the triple glammy bag set. Yeah. Like, I'd probably use that. The others don't really... They don't do it for me. Yeah, they don't... They I'd be don't like, can I have the bag without the design, please? Yes, yeah. Um... Anyway, that's just yeah. in my opinion. From Ico, we have an Eye Boost Serum. This is $79. Yeah, not the cheaper serum. But no, no. Hopefully it would work. Yeah. But we do know so. you get a whole bunch of product in that in those tubes <laughs> yes. because we tried to – we squeezed all the product out of one. That's a and lot. And it was, it was illuminating. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, mate. From Ilia, we have the Essential Face Palette. This is $61. It's a – Cream product palette. Yes. Uh, so two blushes, a highlight, and a shimmery bronzer. Yeah, I would Glowy assume. Glowy bronzer. Yeah, I would, look, I don't even know. I would assume that you could put this on your lips as well. Yeah. Last item from Ilia that we have is a tinted lip conditioner. They've added a new shade to their range. This is Hold Me Now, and it is a $41. Uh, Forty-one dollars for a light wash of pink. Mm, You're welcome. I'm soz, but no, I'm out. No, I'm out, Ilya. Not for me. From Longcom, we have the uh, Seal Booster XL Super Enhancing Mascara Base. 
This is uh, $30, but they do have a larger one as well for $55. All right, so the smaller one is two mils. Yeah. It's a travel. Mm-hmm. And then the larger one is a normal size yes. mascara. 5.5 mil. 55 bucks. Which is a better deal. True. So. Well, it's always a better deal because packaging costs often more than the product. Yeah, that's true. Generally, that is the rule of thumb. From Surat Beauty, we have the Autographic Eyeliner Refills. These are available in three shades, and they're going to set you back $26. Looks yep. like there's a blue, a brown, and a black. Is that correct? Blue, purple, um, and brown. I okay. think maybe previously there was just the black. Okay. Okay, last makeup item before we get onto skincare and fragrance and hair and all that stuff. Uh, we've got YSL, the All Hours Stick Foundation. This is available in 18 shades. $79. It is indeed. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. One One Skin. We've got the Anti-Blemish Biocellulose Facial Mask. Whoa. Pack of five. $168. Fuck me, dead. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, honey. That's a really, really lot, lot of... Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. okay. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And for the same price, they have the Rose Gold Mask. And you can actually buy that mask individually for $36. They're so expensive. It's really oh expensive. God. They've got to do – they have to be miracle workers and you'd have to be going, I'm going to meet the queen and I'm going to have, be, have high-definition photos yeah. and I need to look amazing. I literally want to take that mask off and have, like, all my fine lines completely plumped out and smoothed and well, even my smile lines. I would only do this if I was – like going to a wedding and it not a wedding my, my wedding. wedding yeah and i know that i'm going to be in a lot yeah. of photos because yeah. otherwise this is it's throwing not throwing money down the drain it's that's not, not that's not a fair it's thing a to say lot of money it's a lot of money to spend and when you look at the cost of living as it is it's a lot of money to go one, one use one use and it's not even like feeding you it's not nourishing you it's like it's not putting a roof over your head. It's it's got to be good. It's got to be amazing. It's got to be amazing. But if you are into really luxe skincare and you love sheet masks, One There's, One Skin has yeah. some new ones. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Um, another very expensive brand. This is Angela Cuglia, mm-hmm. I think it is. So we've got a detox serum. This one's $220. Yeah. The Souffle Moisturizer for $161. Luxurious face oil, two thirty four. That's a lot of money for a face oil. It is indeed. Uh, we've got the Dream Exfoliant Mask, two hundred and five. Yep. Then we have the Power Cleansing yeah. Balm, ouch, two twenty. Yeah. We've got the Lavie and Rose Face Roller for ninety five dollars, and we have the Rosebud Eye Treatment Set for ninety five dollars. What is that? Is that? Are they like rose quartz? They look like they they're rose quartz, um, soothing, deep, puffing. Yeah, they are. Massager set. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Harness the ancient powers of pure rose quartz to depuff, boost circulation, brighten and tighten the eye areas. It's interesting. I've noticed a lot of brands are starting to bring out these rose quartz shaped beauty tools and like... If you believe in uh, crystals and their power, like that's that's absolutely fine. You know, I I understand why people believe in it, but I feel like when they're taking a piece of this crystal and carving a shape out of it that is then meant to help beautify you, and they're selling it for prices like that, they really lose my respect. Yeah. Uh, because I feel like they're taking advantage of something like you could go and buy smooth rose quartz and keep them, them in the fridge eyes. and use that like that yeah i, I think that's like a, 95 dollars. i also question why a cleansing balm is 220 dollars. it's very, literally very oils very oils expensive. that you put on your face to break down your makeup that is go into it let's look at let's, the ingredients let's look all right ingredients shea butter uh Glucoside, uh, olive tri- oil, triglyceride, wow. alcohol, Al- mm. cetyl alcohol. Uh, we've also got meadow foam seed oil. We've got barrage seed oil, vitamin E, lecithin, rose, rose geranium, geranium oil, oil, chamomile flower extract. 
It's yeah. It's I a wouldn't. bunch of fucking oils for two hundred and twenty dollars. I, I yeah. say no. I say no. I'm uh, sorry. I, I say wouldn't no. spend money on that. It's no, well, look, you can apply it with your rose quartz. I wouldn't do that either. Something. I'd drop them and break them. I know I would. I absolutely know that I would. I'd throw or them the bird would them. knock them off the bench. Oh, and yeah, my cats them. would just yeah. be like, "What's this? <laughs> oh, it's my fucking toy. Goodbye." <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, nah. no, yeah, nah. no. So it's... All right, let's talk about some more skincare. Let's yes. go origins to All right. start with. Let's do it. They've got a few new masks: ginger yes. kombucha mask, mm-hmm. thirty-nine dollars, limited edition. I'm interested in this. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Kombucha with the back, like the bacteria. Yeah. Uh, inter- interested. They've also got the dragon fruit brightening super fruit mask, which is also limited edition. We talked about this in Beauty News. Yeah. Uh, it's pink, uh, and people are were interested in it. So. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay, for Glam Glow, we've seen the Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. Mm-hmm. So this um, is that 60 second sort of bubbling up mask. Yes. Um, there's that. From Elemis, we have the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads and the Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. That better work because that is $337. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. money. Mm -hmm. Um, Mecca Cosmetica have a few products out. They do, yes. Um, They've got single sheet masks. So Urban Defense Protect and Purify Single Sheet Masks. Fifteen bucks, um, or you can buy it in a pack for mm-hmm. forty-five, and it contains four masks. Yeah. So this is supposed to help protect against um, environmental aggressors. Yep. So this is a new thing. Well, not a new thing, but it's a thing that's happening a lot with skincare these days. Mm-hmm. Um, like trying to reduce the effects of pollution because supposedly it's just as damaging as like sun the and sun. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a hydrating mist, an antioxidant serum. And that is that is the thing. Another brand that has gone all bougie on the face masks mm. is Le Mer. Uh The hydrating facial mask, 180 buckies. Um, and how much do you get? Six. Six masks. Yep. So at least, look, it's look, better it's value than the other one. Better value. I know. I know where I'll be putting my money. Not there. Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere around there. No, um, no. We've got Tatcha. So the yes. Pearl Tinted Eye Illuminating Treatment. Comes um, in three shades. Yeah, three yeah. shades. Moonlight, soft light, and candlelight. Mm-hmm. So um, this is supposed to be sort of like an eye illuminating eye treatment but it's got a tint mm-hmm. to sort of brighten the area. Oh, we've got a, a bit of a pricey one here with the Kinesco Nano Gold Repair Face Mask. Packs Ooh. available in two size, $66 and $220. Yeah, so there's a few masks um, when it comes to that brand. So that yeah. Nano Gold is the most expensive one. Yeah, they um, also have it in the eye mask version. Mm-hmm. So there's face and eye. Yeah, and the eye patches is $23 each or $88 for the um, pack. Mm-hmm. And there's the Diamond Radiance Collagen Eye Mask. Yeah. One eye mask, 23 bucks. Uh, there's a Nano Gold Lip Mask. One lip mask, mm-hmm. 26 bucks. Uh, the Diamond Radiance Collagen Lip Mask, 26 bucks for one. Um, and the Diamond Radian- Radiance Collagen Face Mask, 66 bucks. Mm-hmm. So that is another... What is with these bougie face masks? Look, they're, they're I all would, the rage. I would honestly expect them to completely like lift Change and firm life. and plump my face. But the sad thing about sheet masks is, like, some of them can do that. Temporarily. But it, yeah, you just, you wash it away. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think that's a sad, sad state of affairs. It is very expensive. All right, we've got a bunch of things from from Miller Mersey. Is that how we say the name? Um, There's, like, cleansing products. There's toners, refining lotions. Uh, Oxy cellular, cellular renewal cream yeah, for three hundred and twenty-three bucks. There's an oil. There's a rejuvenating serum for five hundred and thirty-five bucks, uh, and some more like um, face serums yeah. and stuff like that, and eye cream as well. 
All right, fragrance, we've got 100 Bon. We have three new fragrances. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them do come in different sizes as well, which is yep. great. Anya Smells is probably the most interesting one. So yep, there's a coffee scented candle uh, available in two sizes. So these range from <clears throat> $99 to $297. So no matter how interesting these are, I would not pay that much money for a candle. Um, so there's coffee scented, there's baby powder, sun lotion, washing powder, toothpaste, and lip balm. Yeah, I want to smell these in store. I do. I think they sound awesome. They do. Will I spend nearly three hundred dollars no, on a candle? No, hell no. Not. I'll just open a jar of coffee and let it absolutely permeate the house. If I want my house to smell like toothpaste, I would just squeeze some tooth toothpaste <laughs> on like the tiles. <laughs> yeah, and in then the clean kitchen, it. and then clean it. Yeah, so, if you want some washing powder, scented candles, just do your laundry. Yes, um, yeah. But this is it's interesting. I want to see how accurate these are to household things because it's yes. just a cool concept. Yeah. And the jars are really cool. They have little like. They're black with little, like, um, I don't know, metal they, things yeah. stuck on them. Yeah. They're pretty cool. They are. We've also got a new Diptyque uh, body balm, mm. uh, which is interesting, and uh, a few sets. Yes. So there's Ellis Brooklyn and Mason Francis Kirkjackian. Uh, so there you go. They're mini sets. Yeah. The, uh, the Ellis Brooklyn one's quite affordable. It is, compared yeah. to the other one. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So that's it for the Mecca releases. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah. Let us know if there's anything that you're excited about. Yeah. Um, I think the, the standout thing by far is the Too Faced uh, Peaches and Cream collection. Yeah. Uh, there's a few fun things in there. I know that we have to go to the city later on, so I'm going to be smelling some candles. Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to have to get our shit together if we're going to have time to do that. That's true. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.